Hello everybody, Marina for another video. This one is gonna be a tag. I've been tagged by Read, Love, Listen to do the dilemma of a book nerd tag. And of course, I'll be looking at my computer for the questions. First question, dilemma number one, book storage. How do you store and organize your books? Most of my books are on shelves. I have a kind of library on my living room or oh, on both sides, okay? But most of my books are in my bedroom. I can I kind of have a hundred books in my bedroom and those are my TBR. <laughs> or so I try to convince myself, you know. The ones I take into my bedroom are the one I'm supposed to be reading soon. But yeah, some of them I've been there for two years. And how soon is soon enough for them? I don't know, but that's me. Tracking. How do you keep track of what you have read and what books you own? It's simple. It depends on the shelf. I mean, how do I do? On the first shelf, you have the books that I read in 2017. And then down you have 2018. And no, it's separated by my big books of poetry and stuff. And then you have 20. 2018 and on the other side you have 2019 going on right now I, I have to, I used to have an empty um, an empty space so I'm filling that space with the books that I'm reading this year and when the year will be done I will move those books here so I know which book I read in what year that way that that how it works like don't don't ask me why do I do that it's just my way of knowing that this book was read and it was read that year that's how it works uh, number three borrow do you lend your books out I'm trying not to or actually I've decided never ever to do that again because most of the time when I lend my books they never come back or oh, when they do I don't want to take them back because they come back with dog ears, annotation, underlining because people are so disrespectful when they borrow a book from you they see how brand new it looks but they when they give it back to you yeah the book looks like it's been to war or whatever if you're going to break a spine, if you're going to annotate something, if you if you feel like doing other things, why don't you buy your own book? If you borrow from somebody, it means that you are willing to give back the book to the person the way you found it. I'm not a library. I am a lover of books and I, I sound stupid sometimes. People find me weird when I when I talk about my books and when I mention the fact that I love it when a book looks brand new, when it smells good and I always have an envelope in my bag for my books to protect them you know it, whatever you may put in my bag will not spoil my books because I have a plastic kind of bag or an envelope with bubbles in there to protect my books so if you borrow learn to give back and I hate running after people to ask them to give back my books I mean, if you came and asked and I gave, when I tell you give back, why don't you give it on the spot? Or why do you even wait for me to come and ask you for a book that I lent? I didn't tell you I'm giving it to you, which I do most of the time. When somebody asks me for my books, most of the time what I do is I buy a brand new copy and give them for the very reasons I just mentioned before. I don't want to lend you my copy and be mad at you when you'll be done reading it. You see what I mean? So if I can afford it, I'll buy a brand new copy and send it to you. And most of the time I do it also because I'm, sel I'm a selfish person. When I read a book and I really, I have you in mind while I'm reading the book, I'm going to buy it for you to read it. Instead of me just telling you, you should buy the book and read it. Because I don't know about your finances. I don't know about your time. But if I offer you the book, maybe I will ease up the process of you e reading the book. So I don't lend just as I don't borrow, I buy and I offer. That's what I do. Um, next question, buying. 
how do you buy or acquire your books? Well, most of the time I buy my books online because I'm a lazy person and also because I don't travel as much as I wish I, uh, I could. If I could go to the United States like every day, I definitely will be spending so much money on books because I, I don't mind going to the thrift stores to find books when I'm in the United States because in the thrift stores you do find um, good books at a lower price and, and good quality, which is not the case from where I live. And I feel like books are quite expensive in France. I'm not going to lie to you. Books are really pricey here. So yes, that's why I mainly go online when I want to buy my books. Voila. Um, next question. How do you respond to the how do you read so much comment or similar comment? How do I respond to that? It depends on <laughs> it depends on the mood I'm in. If I'm in a good mood, I'm going to tell you, oh, that's because I got a job and I got to go to my working place and come from my working place. So on that way, on my way, since I don't want to uh, annoy people with my talking or whatever, I read. I grab a book, read it, so I don't have to mind what's going on around me. That's what I do. Or if I'm not uh, in a good mood, and if you ask me why, uh, how do I read so much, I would just tell you that because I mind my own business. I'd rather be gossiping about a character, a fictional character that somebody created, than be talking about my neighbor's life with the bees. Or I don't care. I don't give a damn what people do because I'm too busy learning and um, depicting somebody else's life and somebody else's life that is fictional or somebody else's life that want me to learn about their lives. Because there's a difference between you wanting to know about what your neighbor been doing, who your neighbor been sleeping with, what kind of food she's having, and your neighbor putting out a book so everybody can know about their lives and you just decide to buy the book and read from that book. You see what I mean? This is no longer gossiping. This is your neighbor giving access to everybody and to her life, access to her life. So I buy the book. I can discuss about her life with another neighbor, with somebody else. But if they do not open that door, why would I go there and knock and ask them how they're doing? I'm too busy reading. That's how I read. I, I read because I want, I'm too curious. I read also because I want to have a conversation with my friends and most of the friends I have are bookworms and we're always talking about books or food. Yeah, we love our chicken. We talk about food or books or the weather, but most of the time we talk about books. So I always feel like I'm the one among my friends. I'm always the one who haven't read the latest book or who do not know about this story because we come from different parts of the world. Some of my friends are from the Caribbean so when they talk about their culture I'm kind of lost at time and when I talk about Africa certain traditions in Africa some of them also are lost so what we do is that we learn from each other and that's how I, I end up reading so much and I read diversely in my blackness I know people will say, oh, but black people are all the same. Yeah, but our culture are so different, if only you knew. So that's how I end up reading much, so much, because I'm curious and because I'm, I surround myself with, with readers and curious mind, but curious in the right sense or curious in the good sense. Yes, that's how I end up reading. Um, next book, how do you pick your next read? I'm a moody reader. If I wake up in the morning and feel like I want to read a Bernie Sal McFadden, I just pick up a Bernie Sal McFadden book. And when I'm done, I'm done. I hate TBRs because um, I barely respect them. I said that already, but I need to retell you. I When I create a TBR, I start uh, stressing out like, oh, I have to read this book. Uh, and that's the best way for me not to read the book. So when I wake up in the morning and I feel like reading a book, I pick it up. Or if I have an appointment or if I have a book club meeting, that's how I pick up my next read. I'm like, I'd, I'm not attending a book club meeting without reading the book, right? So I will take the time out to read a book, even if it's 
not exactly what I want to read at the moment, but I know I have to read it in order for me to have a conversation with my friends and with the people I will be meeting there. Or I read according to the period of the month I'm in, you know? Because some days, one of those days, you're not in a mood to, you know, just go for heavy reads or uh, big books or stuff. I'm never in a mood for a big book, by the way. But yeah, that's how it goes. It depends on how I feel in the morning, how I wake up in the morning. If I have a desire for a certain type of book or a certain writer, a certain storyteller, I'm going to pick him up or pick her up and start reading. I cannot predict. I cannot tell you exactly. This is what I'm going to read next. I can know like now I we are in November and I'm going to try to read nonfiction. And I have many nonfictions, but I don't know precisely which one I'll be reading first. But I do have 10 or 20 books of nonfiction over there waiting for me. Which one I'll be picking? It would depend on how I wake up tomorrow morning in which mood I'll be tomorrow morning. How do you pick what books you bring on vacation with you? To be honest with you, most of the time I don't bring, I, I don't take books on vacation. I, <laughs> I hope to find a book wherever I go, a book that I can buy and read over there. Except, oh no, when I go back to my country, I always, my country of birth, I always carry a book because I know how pricey books can be and how rare they are to find. But most, yeah, no, I buy my books where I go on vacation if I have time for book, for, for, for reading. Because when I'm on holidays, sometimes I just need to, like, you know, free my mind and enjoy what's, what's around me. If that makes sense. Question number eight. Annotate. Do you write or highlight or mark up your books in any way? No, 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 no. I think I already answered the question, this question, prior to you asking it. When you ask me if I lend books or if I borrow books, I gave the explanation to, you know, the answer to this question, this very question. I don't annotate. I don't underline. I don't dug here's books. If I want to write something in a book, I stick something there and I write down. I do all kind of marking, but I don't, you know, when I'm done reading the book, if I remove all the stickers, you will think that the book was brand new, unless it has a, a lipstick stain, because sometimes I'm like, like this with the book and I stain, you know, my lipstick stay, stay there or something like that. But most of the time my books, if I, if they were brand new when I got them, that's how they, I, that's how I leave them when I'm done reading them. So, no. I don't need no extra thinking or extra thought in the book. I feel like the writing that the writer did is enough. And if you want to add up, you buy a, a copy or something. You do whatever you want with your books. But me, I don't write in my books. And I don't want people writing in my books. No. I don't allow that. I'm pissed. Like, really pissed if I lend you a book and you annotate in there. Because I don't do that myself. You see what I mean? Or uh, if I lend you a book and you underline... I am mad, like really mad at you. I might just even ask you to buy me a brand new copy. That's me. That's the kind of bitch I am. I'm going to ask you to buy me a brand new copy and keep that one because you felt like writing in there, keep it. Now buy me a brand new one. I'm mad. You don't do that. Not to my books. And if you don't want this kind of situation, don't borrow my books. Um, which do you prefer? New releases or backlist books? I would, I would be tempted to say backlist books because when everybody else is talking about the same book, I feel oppressed and I'd, I don't want to, I don't want to read it. I feel like I will be sharing everybody else's idea and I, they don't give me enough space to breathe and enjoy the, uh, the book, you know, or I'll be reading it without anybody knowing that I'm reading that book precisely. But yeah, I'd rather be alone uh, on a backlist. Everybody has read the book, shared their ideas then I feel free to read it. I'm not in, under any kind of influence and I'm really reading it for me. So I'm kind of backlist. And since I love reading also the African classics or the Afro classics in general, most of the writers are no longer among us. So 
yes i'm on the back list but new new releases can be could be interesting sometimes also um if they come from people i love hearing from yeah does it make sense i hope so do you do you read books as they are released for or wait for an entire series to be published before reading one book i'm not a series reading person i'm not a series person i love one shots because i love being done with a you know when i when i flip the the last page for me it's over i'd like it like that i wish it could be like that i do have series in my teeny weeny apartment and most of them i haven't even start start reading them yeah i haven't started so why because i don't like i don't i don't like siri i'm not a siri person I, I love being told story you tell me your story and you're done we're we're okay we're fine you go your way we part our ways it's okay for me series will keep you waiting no i don't know i don't have enough patience for that and if I was to read a series, I will wait for the entire series to be published. Yes, because that's what I do with the TV series. I wait for the entire season to be out prior to my sitting and watching. And not like everybody discussing, oh, you saw last night episode, it was like this, like that. I can't wait to, to, to next Monday. Oh, next. I don't have patience for that. I will wait for the entire season to be done. And then on a Sunday morning, if I'm not working, I will sit my black ass back down and i'll be watching from episode one to episode 100 or oh, i don't know how many of them are out there i'll be having my my meal my everything going to the toilet coming back i know everything in one day i don't need to be waiting i don't have enough patience for that so if i was to start a series it would definitely be a series that is done with like it was a trilogy so i have the entire trilogy and start reading it period. I'm not the type to be running like, oh, it came out. I need it now because I know me. I'm going to buy it and let it rot on the shelves. And uh, chances are I will pay the high price for it and read it five years later. And on the, the year I'll be reading it, the book will be like available at any library or available for such a cheap price that I'll be like, why did I spend all that money on this book if I didn't read it on the spot? You see, that's me. So no, no series for me. So voila. I think that was the last question. Now it's my turn to uh, tag some people. What I will do is I will link the channels down below to the people I want to see do the tag. So please help yourself. Go in the description box and find, find out if you've been tagged or not. Voila. Thank you for tagging me. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.